guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun video today. I kind of hinted to doing this in another video, but I'm gonna do it today. And that is my skincare. I'm also gonna be grouping in some kind of beauty products and just like body products as well that I use because I thought that this would be the perfect video to do that. I'm about to jump in the shower. So I wanted to show you some of the items that I use. What I usually do first when I get home is take my makeup off. My makeup's already off today, but when I do that, I know this is kind of controversial and I'm looking into another alternative, but I will use just standard makeup wipes. And this is the Up and Up brand from Target but I'll use one of those to just take the base layer off of all of my makeup. And then I will go in with the La Roche Passe Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. You've probably seen this in a few other videos of mine. So I'll use this to then wash my face off. Um, I usually use this in the shower. I also just do it at the sink too. I've had a few other items from La Roche Passe and I've really loved it. I have very sensitive skin and this is really gentle, but it also kind of keeps the break Breakouts at bay. Another item from La Roche Passe is their Effaclar Duo Dual Action Acne Treatment. I will use this usually when I'm having some breakouts and it's just like a spot treatment and this works really good. And it's not like aggressive where it's like painful or it stings or anything like that. It's really gentle, but it's really fast acting. So I'll use that. Another item I use very sparsely is Ordinary's Alpha Arbutin 2% plus HA. It's this little guy. This is a little dropper. This is also something I use if I'm having really bad breakouts. This kind of attacks and kind of wipes them out. It's kind of aggressive, so you need to use it very sparingly. But if you're having a really bad breakout, maybe try this. Again, I'm not a doctor and I don't know what your skincare needs are. So I would definitely consult someone if you're having like very severe skin conditions happening, but this is just stuff that is good for me. Um, but I will use this when I'm having really bad breakouts. When I'm just wanting to have moisture to my face, when I'm getting really dry, I'll kind of blast it with a uh, squalene. And this is also by The Ordinary. This is their 100% plant derived squalene for surface hydration. So this is again, another dropper that you can just drop on your face, rub it in, and it kind of sinks into your skin really slowly. So it's just kind of packing a lot of moisture in a little punch. So that's a really good one I would recommend. I showed this in my Full Face of Merit video, and this is their Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. So I tend to use this right before makeup, but you can also use this like at night if you wanna try something with a little bit more moisturizing features to it and it's kind of nice when you wake up in the morning and your skin's really soft. So this is super great for every once in a great while when I need it. I will use little eye patches and I use these gold ones. I got this off of Amazon. It was like a pack of 20. The brand is Celor. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'll use these just under my eyes if they've been really puffy. They're really great too. There's a lot of different brands out there that have really great eye patches, but I just really love these. So these are awesome. I'm gonna kind of show you a lot of different products that I've used or specific instances I use them. I don't use these every single day. It's just way too many steps, but it's just when I'm trying to target certain things, these are the products I use. So again, when my skin's kind of feeling dull and not as hydrated as it could be, I'll do one of two options. I'll go in with a mask. This one's from Target. It's my favorite one. I'm really picky with masks because sometimes they can break me out, but this one hasn't. And it's the Cooling Avocado Clay Mask. It has avocado oil, shea butter, and cocoa butter, but it is truly so like cooling. It's a very fresh feeling that you feel afterwards and it doesn't feel like your skin's super tight like some masks can be. So I'll either use something like this or I will go in with this beauty 
This is Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask. I use this pretty sparingly. It's only when I'm very dry do I use this. You can put a thin layer over your skin and let it set for like up to 15 minutes. And then it just says you can like pat it off afterwards, but you don't have to rinse it off. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't, but this is a really good one too. If you're in the market for a mask and you want something that's really hydrating, this is really good option for that. Going into like my day to day, like what I do every single day, that is like my tried and true. I'll use the makeup wipes, wash my face, and then I always go in with Summer Friday's Cloud Dew, which I've shown this a few different times, but this is their gel cream moisturizer and it's getting pretty low. <laughs> which is scary, but I go in with this one. And again, I'll go in with Merit's Great Skin Serum. So for my under eyes, I really focus under there a lot just because I tend to get more dark circles and I really don't wanna be dry under my eyes as well and get like wrinkles going, you know, just to kind of protect that really thin layer of skin that's under the eyes. And I've shown this a million times, so I'm so sorry if you're seeing this a million times. I have the Tula Rose Glow and get it and then the Tula glow and get it. These are cooling and brightening eye balms. These are amazing for under the eyes. I'll do this at night. I'll do it before my makeup. I'll do it throughout the day a couple times. It just kind of keeps your under eyes really moisturized and it has probiotics and superfoods in them. And it's just amazing. I can't recommend these enough, but that's something I do every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. For lip care, I'm pretty strict on lip care because I hate having chapped lips. So one product that I absolutely swear by is Poppy and Pout's Sweet Mint Lip Scrub. So it looks like this. Oh my God, there you guys are. Hi. But it's this little vessel and it has a scrub on the inside and this one's Sweet Mint. So it smells really close to spearmint gum, but it's my fave. It's so good. And it leaves your lips feeling so buttery soft. So I'll use this probably like once a week just to kind of give my lips a little refresh. And then when I'm done with it, I will immediately put on the Poppy and Pout Sweet Mint Natural Lip Balm. And like the packaging guys is so cute. And it's like a cardboard, which is amazing. It's very like eco-conscious. Um, so I'll just pop a little bit of that on. I want some right now. Yep. Amazing. Love this. Other lip products I swear by. I use Summer Friday's Lip Butter Balm. This is every day, multiple times a day. I refresh this. This is so good. It's not sticky. It's not goopy. It soaks into your skin. It actually moisturizes it. It's not like glittery and shimmery. It's just very moisturizing. So this one, and then this has been loved, so it's <laughs> it's like wearing off now. But I have Rhodes Peptide Lip Treatment, and this one is Salted Caramel, which is my favorite. I have so many tubes of this, guys, and I think that there's a restock coming and I'm probably gonna stock up because I like cannot live without this, especially. I veered off to try the Summer Fridays and I absolutely love it, but this is my baby. This is my holy grail. So that's like all my lip stuff that I'll use. Another kind of product I use if I do have breakouts and whatnot is Starface's Hydro Stars. You've probably seen this. And I thought it was kind of like gimmicky at first. I was like, that's not gonna do anything. But I've used it now for like a couple of years. So it comes in this little, you can get the little compact and then get these refills, but they're like little stars that you can put on blemishes that will help you not pick at them and it will help kind of suck out any of the bad stuff that's in it and they'll usually heal a lot faster. So I really love these. Transitioning into like body stuff, I just picked this up and I really love it. It's a shaving cream and I've been using just kind of like regular shaving creams for a really long time, but they kind of dry out my skin really bad. It's Gillette Venus Shave Cream and the scent is Honey Flower and it has shea butter. So this is what it looks like. And it's like a thick, like creamy consistency. And I've noticed that it makes my skin a lot softer and a lot more moisturized afterwards. So I really recommend trying this guy out. Next 
is my tried and true, guys. I have probably every product that you can have in this scent by this company because I just cannot live without it. This is Being Frenchie's Milky Body Lotion infused with coconut oil and agave extract. And the scent that I have is bergamot cedar. And it's like the most like beautiful scent. It's not florally, it's kind of like a little musky and warm, but also very fresh. I love it. And I love like woodsy kind of smells. So I have the body lotion. And then this one is their soothing body serum stick infused with magnesium and squalene. And it's in the same scent, that bergamot cedar. And this is like a stick that you can kind of move up and down like this. I will use this specifically on my knees and on my elbows and my ankles, just like spots where I tend to get really dry and it helps because sometimes I'll get eczema, very little patches, but it'll be kind of centralized in those areas and this helps a lot for that. So if that's something you deal with, you could try something like this, see if it maybe works for you. And this is just kind of like extra, but for deodorant, I've used Dove for a very long time. I've actually used this product for probably six plus years, but it's the Dove Advanced Care Dry Spray and I get it in Caring Coconut. I have very sensitive skin, so having deodorants that don't irritate me is very important and this never has, so I always go back to it. And then this is also very random, but toothbrush, toothbrush wise. This is by Quip and you can get this at Target. And I just picked this one up. I had another one for, oh my God, so many years, but it was kind of just dying. And I think a lot of water got into it. I don't know what happened to it, but I just picked up a different one. And I got it in this really pretty kind of like dusty purple color, but these are electric toothbrushes and they have a timer in it set for like two minutes. And I've loved having this. It's not bulky, it's really travel friendly, um, but it has that electronic aspect to it, which is huge for me. Um, so that's another product that I swear by. I know that's super random, but I thought I would mention it. Finally, we're into the hair kind of category. So when I take a shower, I will shampoo with Native. I love Native's products. And this is their almond and shea butter scent. And it's just so yummy, so warm. And I'll get the conditioner as well. So Native is amazing. Once I've done those two, it's usually on the weekends. I'll do it like one day a week but I'll go in with Kristen S's Reconstructive Moisture Mask for strand strengthening. So I'll just use a little bit of this in the shower and you kind of let it sit for like five, 10 minutes. And it's like this really creamy, beautiful consistency. You only need a little bit. You just put it in the ends of your hair and you just kind of let it sit. So I'll use this, like I said, once a week, usually like Sundays, like a little Sunday reset. Then once I've done my hair stuff for body, like body wash, I'll go in with Native also, and I have lilac and white tea right now, which is this guy. And when I come out of the shower, I will usually brush my hair and I'll spritz some of this Kristen S leave-in conditioner. Just helps keep my hair really moisturized. And if I'm blow drying my hair, I will then put in this blow dry mist from Kristen S as well. And this is a new find that I got at Target. I've been using this just for about like two weeks now, but it is a weightless shine working serum. So it's for cuticle soothing, frizz taming, moisture locking, strand illuminating. And you just put like a little bit in your palm and you rub it together and then you kind of work it into the ends of your hair. And it just helps with kind of 
of helping with that like split ends and frizz and all of that stuff. So this has been really fun to try out. I can let you know though how it works because I've only been using it for like a couple weeks. But I really do love Kristen S's products. I've never had any issues with them. And let's see here. Finally, when I've like styled my hair and curled it or straightened it, I've really loved this product for helping with frizz because I get really bad frizzy hair. And it's by IGK. It is the Good Behavior Protein Smoothing Spray. So this is almost gone. I've been using it. <laughs> a lot, but it's amazing for like frizzy hair. And it doesn't make your hair like crunchy at all. It actually kind of smooths it out, makes it softer, but it's amazing. Love that. I think that pretty much wraps up what I have in terms of a skincare routine and just taking care of my skin in general. So yeah, if there are any products that you're interested from this video, I will be sure to leave a link in the description and leave comments on some of your favorite items that you love to use. I would love to hear them. Maybe I can try them out. One thing I totally forgot to mention is for like face tools, I usually will use a face roller like right when I wake up in the morning and I usually keep this specific one in the freezer so it's nice and cold and any kind of like puffiness that I have this will kind of combat that but it's one of these guys and this one's by Roslyn Boutique but you can get these on Amazon you can get them at Ulta and they're so amazing so I'll usually use this in the morning and kind of roll underneath my eyes and my forehead and up my neck and it's it's nice in the morning too because it just kind of wakes you up so I'll use that and then at night if I'm using any of my serums because I need that moisture I'll put it all over my skin and then I'll go in with a gua sha stone this is really good for lymphatic drainage it has really great shapes to it to form to different parts of your face so this little cutout here is really great for your jawline and you always want to move upwards and then down and then down your neck just to help with that drainage and to move it properly. This like straight side I'll usually use on my face and kind of work it upwards and then on my forehead. Um, but these are so great for just kind of massaging your face, moving that drainage out. And I believe you can get these at Ulta. You can get them probably at Target and Amazon. So these are really nice to have. Those are also amazing to use if you're interested in like tools for your face as well. And they're really gentle. So I would recommend them. I wanted to thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.